This is Tala. In less than five seconds, he's correctly identified a small, unwashed fragment of sock that's been donated by someone who had COVID-19. And this is Asha, who doesn't take that much longer. All these dogs have been specially trained to identify what researchers have found to be COVID's distinctive odour. And the dogs were able to be trained, you can hear one barking in the background there, uh, the dogs were, were able to be trained really quickly on, on this order and were able to distinguish people who were infected from those who were uninfected. So the best dog was able to detect somebody correctly that had COVID 94% of the time, um, which is really, really high and, and very exciting. Research has already moved on to testing whether the dogs can identify the person wearing a T-shirt that belonged to someone who had COVID. Watch how this dog immediately finds the right person. Even as people file past, there's no fooling these dogs with their incredible sense of smell. Which dog have we got with you today? This is Tala. A dog um, like Tala here would have 350 million sensory receptors dedicated to olfaction. Now, us humans have got 5 million, so that gives you a comparison. Tala could detect odours that are um, diluted down to parts per trillion. It doesn't mean much to us, but actually a part per trillion, if you could smell a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of tea, Tala here could smell the same in the equivalent of water of two Olympic-sized swimming pools quite phenomenal and that's why they're so good at this. Dogs are already used at airports to detect explosives or drugs. It's still very early days, but with their ability to quickly and unobtrusively screen people, medical dogs could also play an important role in keeping a post-COVID world moving. Dominic Hughes, BBC London.